on June 18th, 2013, I said. If I'm gonna force you guys to subscribe to my channel, I should at least be putting out videos now and then. But that was a lie! I mean, I didn't intend to take a three-year hiatus, but it just sort of happened. And now that I am literally at the worst point in my semester, when all my deadlines converge in a vortex of fear and terror, I was like, hey, let's start a vlog series. Obviously, not having a specific theme in mind can kind of throw you off track. So I thought I should document my final month as a college student. Yes, I am about to finish my master's degree and I will not be pursuing my studies further. Maybe a couple of years down the line, I might want to join a research program. But for now, I'm wrapping up here at university. And I thought maybe this could be a nice little personal farewell project. So let's get started. This is not my room, meaning this is not the room I spent a large part of my childhood in. What you see before you is my lovely hostel accommodation, which despite its obvious structural flaws and visiting douchebags, I am grateful to have in the first place. I share this hostel room with somebody whose love for EDM and scented candles is preferable to the somewhat more inconvenient candidates. I have heard a lot of stories. I've never had a roommate before. I grew up as a single child, so this arrangement is interesting. But hey, I do get one half of the room all to myself, and this is my half of the room where all the magic happens. And by magic, I obviously mean crying over delayed term papers and binge eating Oreos. Don't judge me. There is never a boring day at university. I registered here two years ago and I swear there is something to be done every single day. Food hopping, finding puppies to play with, interesting seminars, the revolution. I mean, the list goes on and on. And today, I had the opportunity of breaking into my own room. No, like, for real. I left my keys behind and my roommate is out. And I'm just standing downstairs in the corridor and panicking because I can't get back into the room. So I call my roommate and I'm like, Dude! I don't have keys. And then she's like, you're gonna have to break the lock. Break the lock? Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna break the lock. It's like a lock. And her friend is like, yeah, dude, just break the lock. I have no experience with breaking locks. Why is everybody telling me to do this? So they send somebody up with this terrifying looking primitive iron instrument and they break the lock. This whole time I'm just standing there like, is this real? They literally smashed it open. I think I'm gonna keep it as a good lock charm. <laughs> I should probably go buy a new lock. 